Hey everyone, welcome to my channel and today we are gonna look into Flutter animation loaders or more specifically Flutter spin kit which is something which you use when your application loads you always need a loader when your application loads and today I'm gonna show you how you can import this beautifully anim already pre-animated spin kits so today's tutorial will be on Flutter spin kit so let's begin as you can see I have already created a main.dart file like uh, I've already created this uh, project called loader so I didn't want to waste any time doing that and I also went ahead and run this uh, app as a demo because uh, initially the first run takes a little bit of time so right now we have uh, the main the main file which is my app which is the stateless widget and it's calling something called as my homepage which is also in the same file and it's doing nothing right now it just has an uh, app bar and it doesn't even have a body so we are going and uh, we're going to make the body and we are going to make all the animations appear in the body so that I can show you the different types of spin kits available and uh, you can choose according to your own preferences. So let me first give you an overview of what is the Flutter spin kit. So you can, let me minimize this for a moment. So if you can see in the screen right now, these are the different type of Flutter spin kits available and like i said it has been created by these two wonderful developers let me open the linkedin for you so that you can check them out and i'll provide all this uh, information in the description box below in case you wanted to check them out yourself so this is ayush and this is jeremiah so they are the developers of flutter spin kit you can definitely check them out if you want to learn more about them for now we are going to focus on the different spin kits available so these are the different types rotating plane double bounce wave wandering cubes and you can easily import these things whenever you want your application to show such things whenever you load something when for example you fetch something and your application is currently loading you can easily use these type of spin kits it is much more visual and it's always better to use something which pleases the audience whoever is waiting for the information being loaded a little back history about uh, spin kit is right now this is a spin kit available for flutter but before flutter spin kit was actually made by tobias and uh, you can check out his github version in here this is actually tobias he actually made spin kit for the first time because he wanted to apply it with his web projects and if you go to this github link which i'll obviously put in the description below you'll find the different kinds of spin kit available which he first made and uh, these guys made a uh, flutter spin kit as a inspiration from tobias so tobias was the first one to make spin kits and uh, he actually used it and implemented it in his projects as a uh, in, in his web projects if you go ahead and take a look at the documentation you'll find the devs and all the different kind of spin kits for web so just a bit of backstory now let's go ahead into the flutter project and let's dive into coding so first things first uh, i have named the app bar as a spin kit demo you can see right here i have also made the debugging check mode as false in here because that kind of bugs me and uh, so let's go ahead and create our body so in the body section we will be making a column first okay so why are we making a column let me just give you a quick overview of what I want to build let me just bring this in so that I can help you understand close this down so what I want to do is let's say this is our screen we want to have certain columns we don't know how much yet but let's say we have maybe two columns for now let's say this is our column one and let's say this is our column two and we might have a lot of them later on but for now let's have two and uh, we don't know the certain number of rows we want to have inside of them but let's say we want to have some rows inside of them so maybe let's say have three for now what I want to do in this rows is uh, if you recall these uh, spin kits I want to have individual spin kits in these 
rows so maybe there is one spin kit here one spin kit here one spin kit here and uh, i want to sort them out in the basis of maybe maybe say a rectangular or circular spin kits maybe if, if you can see you have rotating this is a square um, this is another square so maybe i want to sort this out in the something like maybe all the squares will be displayed in here maybe in the second one we'll have another one which will show maybe circle and maybe different kinds of circle rotating circle and stuff so that is how i planned the app initially and so now let's go ahead and make one so right now we have a column to make individual rows inside of the column we'll need to have children and in the children we'll have something called as a row to use your spin kit what you have to do is you have to add it in your pubspec.yaml so the dependency which you need to add is flutter underscore spin kit and you can give the version but if you keep it blank then it will automatically fetch the up the recent version so i like doing it but it's not preferred when you are using it for a production build because you don't want to change the version every time it's shipped to the client side right so always provide a version if you want to check the current version you can all, all, always do that by going yeah you can see that in the dependencies it's in 4.1.2 that is the recent version now you can always go ahead and do that you can always like do a 4.1.2 and it will be stable it will be fixed for this particular application it won't cross 4.1.2 and that is always preferred because you don't want to change it in the client side just a fair note so to import it in your application you have to do an import and then just type flutter spin kit and you can see it in here so your flutter spin kit has been imported to import all the different spin kits like the, the circles the planes you have to create a children widget inside of the row because uh, if you remember the diagram we have one two three so these are different rows so inside of the row we need to make different children so in the different children's we can directly import you see a, you can find the list of different spin kits for now we want to import the rotating circle maybe and you also have to provide color as a parameter so I want to provide color start maybe green and let's just save it and see if it's working or not so let me just artificially restart and let's see okay we have our very first rotating green circle we can add a few more let's go ahead and add maybe spin kit uh, rotating plane rotating plane yeah and give it a color of maybe color start mm, amber we don't need the, this one let's do a uh, hot reload and there you go you see the the rotating plane as well as the rotating circle it's frozen i don't know why maybe it's my laptop hmm okay so you see both of the animation loaders right in your screen but the problem is according to our design you see it was a bit spaced and it's a bit crammed up right now so we're gonna go ahead and fix that so to fix that we have something like a main axis alignment and we're gonna do a space evenly so you can see you have a main axis alignment or space evenly if you select it and you save and you hard reload again you'll see it spaces itself it spaces all the different components evenly now if i add another component in here it will automatically see the width and space itself even let's go ahead and verify that by adding another one so let's say we want another mm, maybe maybe a square circle and let's say color of uh, what should i give it let's say blue let me give it a color of blue and let's save it and not reload again and there you go you can see everything aligned perfectly now there's one small problem in here once again you see it's very touchy to the app bar and we don't want to do that so to minimize like to eliminate that we have to give a main axis alignment in the column as well the column as in which was the main the blue one to space them up we have to give them equal spaces on both the ends from the top as well as from the bottom 
So we're gonna do that by giving a main axis alignment of space evenly in this one as well. And if I save it, it'll come to the center because we don't have anything else. See, we don't have anything else in the bottom or in, on the top or bottom, so it just automatically came to the center. But let's say we want to just have another one of this row, so like multiplying the same thing again. And if we just do a hot reload again, it will automatically adjust itself and you have the same thing. So let's go ahead and check out some of the different uh, spin kits. Let's say a folding cube and a pumping heart. So it's pretty easy, right? So what you have to do is do a spin kit, spin kit, and maybe folding cube. You see, and uh, colors. Maybe I want colors dot gray. I want a gray folding cube. And if I hot reload, there you go. You have a gray folding cube. Same for pumping hearts. Just do spin kit, pumping hearts. I did a typo there, didn't I? Pumping heart. You do color and color start okay okay colors and color start mm, maybe maybe red because it's a heart and that was a bad joke <coughs> and you hot reload it there you go you have your different animation loaders and you can check them out more if you like you can always go to refer to this documentation i'll pin it down in the description and that's that i hope you like this tutorial if you want more of such content definitely comment down below and let me know and thank you for watching have a great day bye bye